What's going on YouTube? Everything Epan here, and this is a quick little uh, tutorial video on how to install Windows 3.1 in VirtualBox. Um, you can do Windows 3.11 as well, but someone requested to do Windows 3.1, so I'm going to do that for them. So let's just go ahead and begin now. So if you do not have VirtualBox already, this is what we're going to be using. Get it with your specified OS. Then the second link in the description is going to be MS-DOS. You need to install that before you install Windows 3.1 because you cannot install 3.1 standalone. So you have to install something else before it, and MS-DOS is the easiest. So once you get that, um, the third link is um, Windows 3.1, and those are all the setup files. Now they're all f um, image disks, so they're floppies. And also in the description is going to be WinRAR if you do not have WinRAR and also the password for the files and it is legit even though a lot of people don't um, even though a lot of the passwords aren't legit so let's go ahead and begin so open up VirtualBox hit new it's going to be called Windows 3.1 next we'll just give it 512 megs since I have that opportunity we're going to create our virtual hard drive and we're going to save it to a different spot. Create. Now you're going to hit settings, go to storage, and then go to this. Not, you're not going to this this time because it's not an ISO, it's an image. You want to go to this, hit this, and then choose. And then you won't need to use the CD-ROM, you just need to use disk number one first, and that's this first setup um, disk. Hit OK, and then start it up. This is a real easy tutorial. We're, we're two minutes in and we're already installing MS-DOS. So welcome to setup. So hit enter to start the installation and then configure an allocated space and then hit enter again. Make sure that you keep um, setup disk number one in the floppy drive part right here. Then hit enter. It's going to go with formatting your drive and then confirm that all these settings are correct and then hit enter hit enter again and then now it's going to ask you to hit put in the other disks so you just want to find where those are at and then choose this number two because it tells you number two hit enter and then it's going to ask you to put in number three so let's go ahead and do that and that's the last one you need to put in hit enter again and you are finished you just have to remove it now and then press enter and you are finished installing MS-DOS already. So I guess if none of you don't know how to install MS-DOS, there you go, there's that too. And now you're presented with this screen. Now you need to get the Windows 3.1 um, setup disks. There's seven of them, so there's number one. Hit enter, or open, or whatever it is. And then type A, and then setup. Welcome to 3.1 to 3.1 setup. Hit enter. Enter again. And now it wants you to do disk number two. Put that in. Hit enter. Now it needs disk number three. I know this is a lot of clicking and everything, but now we're in a GUI interface, GUI interface. So we're going to go ahead and type in a name. Hit continue and continue again. Now it's going to resume doing the disks, putting the disk in. So it asks for number four. And then we need to click continue. Now it's going to ask for number five. And then hit continue again. It's going to ask for number six. And then it will ask for number seven. This is a very simple process. And then it tells you to do a printer installation. You can skip this just by hitting cancel. And um, just go ahead and hit OK on that. Setup will now do a short tutorial. You can either run the tutorial or skip it. I'll just skip it. And now we can reboot. And then we'll go to, I believe it's Win. Yep, Win, and you are in Windows 3.1, so you actually did not even need 
that last disk. But I'll leave, I'm going to leave it in there just in case. So you have just now installed Windows 3.1. It's as simple as that. It took less than five minutes to install it. And you now have Windows 3.1. You have the whole interface here. It's all here. You can play games and do all that. You can play Minesweeper. Oh, I just had a bomb. I don't I barely even know how to play it. Alright, well, there you go. See, it's as quick as that. Installing Windows 3.1 is just as easy as that. So that is my quick tutorial on how to install Windows 3.1 in VirtualBox. Um, more tutorials coming out soon as I've had um, some requests to do some specific videos. Um, so tune in to get those tutorials in the future. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and I will see you guys next time.